Hi, Tim here coming yet from my reading room. Uh, the, today, the video I'm doing today is different than what uh, you're used to seeing. This, today I'm doing a screencast uh, where I reach to see what I'm, uh, the, what I'm looking at at my uh, monitor or on my computer uh, because uh, what I'm talking about today is more this is uh, this helps uh, showing the stuff better and uh, see this is the the first of my public domain video that uh, I told you I'd be doing I tried doing it filming this back on uh, uh, Friday or or was it Thursday Thursday or Friday I tried doing it but uh, it just screwed up on me so and uh, this this will be a little longer than what I usually do my videos for, but I'll try to keep it under a half an hour. Okay, so this is, like I said, this is uh, first of my uh, uh, public domain books uh, talk, and uh, it's about uh, the Stratemeyer Syndicate. Uh, see, this is uh, uh, most of uh, the there's a good number of books from uh, the Stratemeyer Syndicate that are in the public domain, but there's still a bunch that aren't also, but uh, let me first uh, uh, I talk a little bit about what the Stratemeyer Syndicate is, or was, uh, I should say, okay, like this says here, I'm showing you the Wikipedia uh, page on it some. The Stratemeyer Syndicate was a publishing company that produced a number of mystery book series for children, including Nancy Drew, The Hardy Boys, the various Tom Swift series, The Bobsy Twins, The Rover Boys, and others. There are, they published and uh, contracted uh, the many pseudonym uh, pseudonymous uh, authors uh, doing the writing of the series from 1899 through 1987 uh, when the syndicate uh, partners sold the company to Simon & Schuster. Okay, and I'll read the first uh, paragraph of this uh, uh, of the history. Created by Edward Stratemeyer, the Stratemeyer Syndicate was first uh, was the first book packager to have its books aimed at children rather than adults. The syndicate was widely successful. At one time it was believed to you that the overwhelming majority of the books that children read in the United States were Stratemeyer Syndicate books. Based on a 1922 study of over 36,000 children worldwide, and uh, I have figured I'd show you this to uh, jumping down to some minute to the writing guidelines because these are interesting too. And uh, all the Stratemeyer Syndicate books were written under certain guidelines based on practices that uh, Stratemeyer began with his first series, uh, The Rover Boys. All books. Uh, would be part of a series. To establish more quickly if the series was likely to succeed, the first several volumes will be published at once. These first volumes are often called breeders. The books will be written under a pseudonym that this will provide apparent continuity of authorship even when an author died and would disguise the fact that that uh, series were written by multiple ghostwriters and uh, plot outliners. The books uh, would look uh, as much contemporary as adult books as possible with uh, similar bindings and typefaces. The books would be of a predictable length. Chapters and pages should and have bit situation to increase a reader's desire to keep reading. 
Each book will begin with a quick recap of all previous books in that series in order to promote those books. Books might also end with a, re uh, with a preview of the next volume in the series. For example, uh, Nancy could could not wonder uh, when she might encounter as strange a mystery as the recent one. Such a case was uh, to confront her soon, the clue of the whistling bagpipes. The books would be priced at 50 cents rather than the more common 75 cents, one dollar or a dollar 25. Uh, characters should not age uh, uh, or marry. Protagonist and uh, of uh, early series such as the Rover Boys, Tom Swift, and Ruth Fielding did grow up and marry, but sales dropped afterwards, uh, prompting the syndicate to make a rule that the characters never marry. Okay, and uh, now I'll just jump to you. Uh, uh, okay, this is a list of the series in it, and uh, I'm going to sort of by uh, uh, series name. Uh, but I'm going to jump over to this one here. This is uh, 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 oh, and all these uh, pages I'm showing, uh, jumping to here, I'll uh, put links to them down be uh, um, in the show notes down below. And uh, this one is at uh, the Stratmeyer Syndicate, or the Strat at that Stradmeyer uh, Syndicate uh, wait, I'm trying to remember the, the well, I, like I said I'll, uh, it's, I think it's Stradmeyer.org or something like that and it's uh, it's mainly put together by uh, James Keyline uh, which uh, uh, which is uh, was, uh, has uh, quite a few uh, of the uh, books in his collection of the different books. And he was uh, working on a, a book about uh, Edward Stratton Meyer. I don't know how far along he is now. I didn't see anything on uh, Amazon anyway. But uh, you notice that uh, here you can find different stuff on it and uh, like uh, about Edward Stratton Meyer, about the syndicate. And, uh, and you see up here, like, there's a about tab, or there's a couple things, or here's more stuff about Edward Stratemeyer. The syndicate, uh, just some uh, stuff about it. Okay, index to series, pen names, uh, A to E to A, and uh, pen names K through Z, and they don't have all of them uh, listed in that, I've noticed. But I'll do the index to series, like I did on the other one, and I'm going to sort it by title. That means by the by the title of the series. Just that I'll show, and you notice there's quite a few books here. So I need this, like some of them you might have uh, seen. Uh, uh, like uh, the Bobsy Twins was a uh, long one that went a good while a series. Uh, I think Bunny Brown and his uh, sister Sue was another one. Uh, still going down here, uh, Dave Porter. The Happy Hollisters at the Hardy Boys. Uh, 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 I'm just looking down here. Like the Motor Boys and Motor Girls, you'll see that a lot of times there. There'll be a corresponding one for uh, uh, girls that with boys like here. You have the moving. Moving picture boys, and there's the moving picture girls. 
And there's Nancy Drew. Out, like outdoor chums, outdoor girls, and, and with that, with the you know, Ralph of the Railroad. Tom Swift, Tom Swift uh, Jr. and uh, it doesn't, oh, Tom Swift, the third series on there. But you see all those, but I'll take it back to the, up to here where it starts with Army Boys. Well, I'll go back to the Stratmiter Syndicate and show you that uh, uh, the Army Boys uh, doesn't show up on this one. Of course, the uh, Stratmiter one that starts at like uh, 1905 instead of 1899. See, uh, Edward Stratmeyer started the Rover Boys in 1899 and he wouldn't have that's pretty much where he got the uh, rules of, for the writers uh, to go by this by with his experience with that that and a few other series that he started and a lot of the series uh, uh, Edward Stradmeyer had to made up the the outlines for most of the books or general outline for each of the books, and he had a big list of pseudonyms to have for using for writing the different books. And uh, so that's, by authoring this list, it's uh, pretty much a pseudonym. And, uh, and uh, I see, I've been uh, using the, been, uh, I first came across the, the public domain or project in project, project Gutenberg, I should say, in public domain uh, around 25 years ago. And uh, I, there's, uh, I've read several books uh, from within it. I've read some of, uh, of the children's books too. As a matter of fact, some of the children's books helped me out at times because. Uh, before I had got, before my uh, my disabilities got so bad that I couldn't work anymore. Uh, see, I suffer from uh, chronic migraines, which I have on a daily basis. But uh, before those started, I had there, I had a couple blackouts each over an hour long. Of, and they were like uh, two months apart. And I was uh, going to school full time to try to finish off my bachelor's degree in computer science. I was uh, taking online courses. And uh, I was carrying a 3.95 GPA uh, before the first run, uh, before the first one started. But I, or before I had the first one, uh, I fortunately I uh, the first one was just before the end of the term, so that didn't affect me too much. But it affected my reading, my reading ability somewhat. I couldn't read as fast, or I couldn't uh, concentrate as well, or get a, to get a focus. And uh, so uh, reading some children's books helped out with that. See, kept, I think it was. Uh, Tom, Tom Swift series back then, I can't quite remember. But, uh, and uh, see, lately I had uh, COVID uh, uh, back in uh, December for a week, and, uh, and I've noticed that I'm having some of the same problems I had uh, back then with the uh, focus and concentration and stuff and just not being able to read just as much in a day. So I decided I'm going to start uh, having, uh, always having one, uh, children's book, kind of like uh, first of all, the ones in the public, or in uh, the ones that, that are in the Stradmeyer Syndicate books uh, first and to go on to other children's books that uh, because just to help you with that, I just have one going along with all the 
the other books I'm reading. Yeah, so, and to uh, these, uh, and to uh, most of these books you can classify more as a middle grade book is more of the uh, point for them around where they're at. They didn't have middle grade at that time when a lot of these started out. And you see there are quite a few series here. But uh, so, so uh, I'll be starting with the Air Service Boys. Uh, uh, I'll be uh, loading them onto my uh, Nook uh, probably today. And that, it will, uh, so they'll be uh, falling in with the other books and the I rotation that I do among them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but I think, uh, so this is uh, the Stratomire's uh, Syndicate here. I'll, I'll put, uh, like I said, I'll put links to all of the, uh, all these pages I showed you uh, in the show, in the uh, show notes down there, the video notes, and uh, so, uh, so you can check them out to see. I can, and uh, also, the, like I said, these are pretty much like middle grade books. That you, so, uh, with and uh, with middle grade March uh, creeping up on us soon, uh, if you want to participate in that, you could read some of these books. Or if you're a uh, parent and have kids around that middle grade age. They might be interested in some of these, but uh, just prepared. They might be coming to you with questions about some wor some words and stuff because of uh, most of these are, are like uh, ninety five over ninety five years uh, ago that since they were uh, pub originally published. So names and words for stuff have changed over that time, but. Uh, that's all I have for you for this time. So until ne next time, take it easy and keep on reading.